Yo, what is up guys, Ghost here, and today we're taking a look at Temporial's latest data mines, namely the so-called squad contracts that he thinks could be connected to power weapons like airstrikes, and also, could the new Season 4 vehicle have been staring us in the face since Season 3 began? If you feel by the end of the video you've learned something new and feel I've earned your subscription, consider hitting that grey button for me, we're almost at 38k, thank you guys so much for all your support recently. Before we get too in-depth, I will warn you guys to take this one with a grain of salt. Usually when Temporial puts out a data mine, he's pretty much spot on, but this time around he has flagged this one as being somewhat speculative, although to me, it definitely sounds like something that DICE could be implementing. So squad contracts, these are missions that squads can unlock during a match in order to claim potential rewards such as power weapons or airstrikes after successfully completing the objective. These missions seem to have certain score requirements, similar to the way that squad points worked in Battlefield 5, only here before you actually get the power weapon or the call in, these points only allow your squad to begin a contract. So the mission might be capturing a flag within a certain amount of time, if you successfully accomplish this mission, you can then call in a perk which will act as a temporary benefit for the ongoing match. So here's a little speculation on some of the possible rewards. Temporal has actually previously found references, months ago in fact, to so-called power weapons and specifically he's found the XM109 sniper rifle which could be a one hit kill semi-automatic sniper rifle like the battle pickup in Battlefield 4, then there's the M32A1 grenade launcher also featured in BF4 and finally the M134 minigun. Now along with those weapons he recently found an unreleased airstrike gadget that was added in update 3.0 with the season 3 content. Now I can definitely see this being legit. After all, we've had cruise missiles in Battlefield 4 that the commander could call in, and then we had artillery in Battlefield 5 that squads could call in, so this sort of thing is definitely within the realms of possibility for Battlefield. As far as the missions themselves go, I think this could be a fantastic addition to the game. One of Battlefield 2042's biggest critiques is that you don't really feel like you're working together with your squad, and I've seen you guys who watch my videos and others say on multiple occasions that squad mates to you feel like little more than mobile spawn beacons. That's certainly the way that I feel. If a squaddy is kind of close to where I want to spawn, then I'll sort of use him for that purpose, but I won't necessarily go following him around, backing him up and throwing him ammo bags. We just sort of each go our separate way. Um, the squad chat and the VoIP is almost always void of any tactical planning whatsoever. Even with the new spotting system, I don't think I've ever noticed a squad actually following lead and attacking the objective that the squad leader designates. This could also help balance vehicles in the game, which has always been a double-edged sword in every Battlefield game. If you make them too flimsy and underpowered, they'll become useless, make them too powerful, and you end up with really good players going 100 and zero. Battlefield 4 tried to combat this by having the commander designate enemy targets as HVTs that rewarded more points for taking out, but a lot of the time you simply didn't have a commander. But with this new squad contract system, the game could actively track players who are going on these insane killstreaks and then offer contracts to squads to get them dispatched. So anything like this squad contract system to encourage team play and squad play further could be a big step in, in the right direction. Of course, we're also getting the new class system soon, so that's going to make a big difference as well. But to be clear here, whilst Battlefield 2042 does have pretty bad squad play, I'm also not going to pretend for a second that it was absolutely fantastic in Battlefield 4 or Battlefield 1, right? I also had plenty of experiences there where I didn't really feel like part of the team or even my squad, so these systems can see big improvements in the Battlefield franchise overall. Now Mary, aka the Cad Woman, shout out to her, she's got an awesome channel as well so go and check her out. She commented saying, perhaps this is a limited time mode feature for the mid-season event. So you remember we got that Liquidators event for season 2, which kind of flopped honestly, and DICE have promised us more of these in the future. 
hopefully ones that don't flop. So perhaps this system will tie into the Season 3 mid-season event somewhat, but, you know, who knows, if people enjoy it enough, they could make it a part of the game. Okay, before I wrap up here, a couple of other interesting things that Temporal has found. Marksman bonuses. So apparently, the latest game update also features hints regarding the display of actual damage numbers near the hit indicators. So if you get an assist, perhaps you can see exactly how much damage you did to an enemy, or in the case of marksman bonuses, you'll get extra XP for a sniper kill the further you are away, as we did in previous games. And finally here, could the Season 4 new vehicle be a stealth drone? Temporal found references to such a drone in the game finals months and months ago and actually even since the release gameplay trailer we've seen icons on the minimap that look like a triangular stealth bomber this has led to speculation that such a vehicle is coming to the game so the vehicle he found in the finals is called the su-70 hunter g it's a russian stealth drone and it has a 6000 kilogram smart weapon payload a part of its description reads, Loyal wingman capabilities enables teaming with network fighter jets with its payload of air-to-air -air missiles. Now that's old news really, okay? But if you look closely at the Season 3 loading intro, you can actually see what looks like a stealth drone flying high above the clouds. However, as many have already pointed out in the comments on Twitter, this one actually looks more like the American X-47B. So maybe the Russian one is based on the Sukhoi S-70 and the American one is based on the X-47B. On top of that, we've just had DICE move jets into their own category and the chances of getting some sort of new jet for Season 4 is looking highly likely. After all, we've already had a new attack helicopter, bringing the total up to three. We've just had a new tank, and in Season 2, we got a new transport buggy and a light attack vehicle. So, with only one type of jet in the game, that has to be where they go in Season 4, right? It's kind of a no-brainer. I mean, it's either that or a new transport helicopter, and I don't see how a new transport heli can really be that interesting. Thank you guys for your time today. If you enjoyed, subscribe for more Battlefield and have a good one. Cheers. Transportation here! 250 meters!